Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a perfect nude lip video for you guys. Now, there's tons of nude lip videos out there on YouTube. And the reason why I actually decided um, to make a nude lip video uh, myself is because I had been searching for a really nice, like, perfect nude lip for myself. And I had never found it just because I felt like the nude lip videos out there are so limited. It'll have, like, two nude lipsticks and it just wasn't doing it for me so I wanted to do a nude lip video that kind of went a little outside the box and um, not only spoke to one um, skin shade and went from fair medium to all the way to uh, deep so this is my take on the perfect nude lip video so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and if you're interested in seeing how to get that perfect nude lip for yourself go ahead and keep on watching Alright guys, so shall we get started? So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and get started by showing you guys a couple of lipsticks that I find to be very, very useful for um, different ranges of skin tones. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get started and, try and talk to you guys a little bit about each lipstick. So a couple of these are NYX, a couple of these are like Revlon, there's like, you know, I'll just go ahead and get started. So the first one that I wanted to show you guys, randomly picked, I'm just, I put these in like my little bag just so I can show you guys these. So randomly picked the first one that I picked is from NYX and this is Rhea now this lipstick is a nice nude but this is a nude that has like that brown undertone which is really really nice for deeper skin tones now like I said I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple different ranges of skin tone nude lips the next one that I wanted to show you guys is um, Revlon's color burst lip butter in creme brulee now this is the kind of nude lip that you would go for if you would like like a really really sheer um, sort of moisturizing nude lip. So here is a swatch of that um, which is very very sheer um, and if you have very pigmented lips you would have to probably use like a concealer or something to sort of mute out your lips before you actually apply that. So the next um, lip that I wanted to show you guys, or the next um, lipstick, which looks disgusting and gross because I nicked it and I like pushed it back and it like got all over the place. But this one is um, Pure Nude from NYX. Now this Pure Nude is the pinky undertone nude lip that a lot of people like. I really like it too. So this is the Pink Nude. So this is more of a cool nude, which cool nudes go very, very well um, for lighter shades, more fair skin tones. That is a very, very pretty look. But you can also pull that off by using this and using a like a more um, a more dark lip gloss over top of that. I'm sorry, I'm looking this way. But okay, so next is the one that I'm actually wearing. So the next one that I'm wearing is Echo from um, NYX. This is my current favorite nude lip. Uh, this is a beige undertone. It actually has uh, sort of an orangey beige undertone. This one is very nice for medium to dark skin tones. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this for someone who is uh, medium kind of olive skin tone that is looking for a nude lip. Um, even if you don't want the completely concealed nude lip, you can apply like a pink lip gloss or something over top to make it that perfect nude lip. Um, another nude lip that I wanted to show you guys is from Maxi Shine um, Lipstick from Kiss New York. And this one is in Nude Beige. This is another nude lipstick that goes very well with like a medium skin tone. Don't worry, you fair ladies and you deeper skin ladies, I will get to you guys. There's plenty to go around here. Alright, so that one is like a nice sort of medium, um, a medium sort of new lip and it has a nice like pinky, uh, pinky taupe undertone. So next is another NYX and this one is in creamy beige. So this creamy beige lipstick has gray undertones and this is like my second favorite one if I don't want to go with a completely concealing nude lip this is what I would go for and it has like a gray taupe brown undertone which looks like that I actually have swatches of all of um, the NYX lipsticks that I have up on my blog I will post the link down below so go ahead and check that out if you're interested again that's creamy beige so the next one I want to show you guys is soft nude from Revlon's color burst lipsticks so this is soft nude and I actually really do like this lip gloss um, the, the lipstick the only thing I don't like about this is that 
it you have to reapply it so often it's crazy like it doesn't last on me I've read reviews on other people who actually last long on but for me for some reason it doesn't last like even an hour but besides that it's a very very nice nude um, I think that this color would go very well on um, medium I'm sorry fair to medium and even on some dark skin tones I think that that would still look very pretty so the next lipstick that I wanted to show you guys is from Revlon and this is a very nice um, fair to like fair medium skin tone color this is nude attitude one zero zero one um, nude attitude is a more concealer kind of lipstick which got a lot of bad reviews and I decided to get it anyways and for myself I don't think it's so bad um, it does wash me out like crazy but then when I apply lip gloss over top of it that goes very well with it, it it's actually okay so this is nude attitude which is another nude lip so the next one is NYX pumpkin pie so that's what that one looks like and NYX pumpkin pie is a very nice nude lipstick that has um, this sort of like pinky I don't even know how to explain that but it's like pinkish um, peachy sort of undertones very very pretty this actually looks really pretty on my skin tone and I would say that that lipstick actually would go great with any skin tone like ranging any skin tone will look really good with that um, the next one is a darker nude lip which is perfect taupe this one's actually too dark for me this one is perfect taupe and it is a taupey brown lipstick and this would go I know this would go great on a deeper um, skin tone it's very very pretty very very pretty so that's what that looks like and um, the next one is Cirque from NYX which I know a lot of people have heard of crazy crazy reviews on this this is basically supposed to be a dupe for um, Lady Gaga the Lady Gaga um, Fever Glam lipstick so Cirque that is Cirque right there which is a beautiful beautiful um, new lip this one is honey now honey to me is so similar to um, is very very similar to echo from NYX um, it's just a little more intense like a little lighter um, super creamy the next one I wanted to show you guys is actually from wet n wild and this one is 902 C I have another one for Wet n Wild, which is another nude. I don't remember what it's called, and I don't even know where it's at. But this one right here is a um, this one right here. That's what that one looks like. This okay, now there's two more. These are a little more unfamiliar. This one is from NK Cosmetics, which is really hard to find. Um, this line for some reason, um, it's a little cheapy brand. It's actually how much did I pay for this? I think like 99 cents. Um, so that's what that one looks like this has actually always been like one of my favorite nude lips like a little darker nude lip but that is what that looks like and that would be amazing for medium to dark skin tone and then the last one I wanted to show you guys before I get into the lip glosses and um, lip liners is the nude from LA colors and this is a very 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 nude lip um, this is actually even more nude. I, I feel like a little more nude than um, than nude attitude, which is like one of the lightest nudes that I have. So this is what that looks like right here. This is nude attitude, I believe, and this one right here is nude from LA Colors. It's a very 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 nude lip, but it's not concealer consistency concealer consistency in any type of way compared to nude attitude so I think that that would go very very well with a, like a nice lip gloss over top from fair to medium skin again um, yeah so the next thing I want to show you guys is I'm gonna show you guys the lip liners just in case you guys get bored so a lot of these that I said for medium would go well for deep skin tones if you use the right lip liner and a lot of fair would go well for medium if you also use the right lip liner so you can even do a concealer that matches your skin tone to get the perfect perfect nude lip with 
one of these lip liners or any lip liner that would go um, that would define your lips a little so the first one is from NYC and this one from NYC is called Naughty Nude this one right here is actually $2.99 so Naughty Nude looks like that and the next one is from oops the next one I want to show you guys is from NYX and this one is Chestnut which is pretty much the same as Max Chestnut I don't know, I think these are coming up a little darker than what they are because they're not as dark as they look there. Okay. And again, you apply these pretty light. So the next one, I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys, is from LA Colors, which is one of my favorite ones, actually. Um, it's called Nude. And it's a very, very nude color. There it is. Okay, so lip glosses. I want to just jump into the lip glosses really quickly before I lose you guys. So a really, really nice nude kind of frosty lip gloss is cappuccino from NYC which looks like that it goes really nice um, for that very nude lip if you're into that the next one is NYC liquid liquid lip shine um, in nude York minute which is a nice sheer kind of lip gloss the next one oh that one smells really nice the next one is from Jordana is called pink sugar it's a very nice um pink like milky pink um nude pink kind of color that's it right there the next one is one of my favorites again is pink sand again from nyc let me make sure i get that on there right pink sand from nyc which looks like that and again, these are all super affordable. The one that I'm wearing right now is Beige Delight over top of my Echo lipstick, which is gorgeous. I absolutely love this lip gloss. I've always loved it, and it's actually from LA Colors, so it's only 99 cents. Um, so that's what that one looks like right there. And then for a darker nude lip gloss, this one right here is from Wet n Wild, and it's called Shirley Coco right here Shirley Coco this is actually very very pretty um, I actually like the way this looks when I want it to just tone down like not have such a bare nude lip this is a very very pretty nude lips called Shirley Coco and this is from the wet slicks um, the next one is from elf and it's called maple sugar oops I put out way too much maple sugar these go very very nice over top of a nude lip because it gives you a little bit of a definition without it completely concealing out your lips now this one is called pink crush and is also from Jordana I'm sorry for those dogs that are barking those are my neighbors new dogs okay so sugar which goes really really nice over a very concealing nude lip too because it brings it out a little so that is that so basically the next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how I got my nude lip really really quickly I'll be right back so as you guys can see how um, pigmented my natural lips are so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I got that really quickly so first I put on my any concealer that will go on top of your lips that will kind of conceal your lips a little bit so I'm gonna be using my express makeup 3-in-1 stick from Maybelline in tan which I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that and dab it onto my lips. Oops, I can't see. Okay. Just... Okay, next I'm gonna be taking my Echo lipstick from NYX and I'm gonna dab that on. Alright, so there we go. My lips are basically gone. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I do, so. Um, this one is my lip gloss from LA Colors and um, it's called Beige Delight and I'm just going to dab a little bit of that into the center of my lip. Okay, and, and there we have that nude lip. So, if I wanted to sort of give myself a little definition, I would have gone in with my LA Colors nude lip around the edges just a little tiny bit. Or if I wanted to make it a little more of a pink nude lip, I would go on over top with a pink lip gloss. 
so that is that i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions at all whatsoever feel free to comment down below um inbox me anything like that um i would be more than glad to get back to you guys or make another informative video if you guys would like that too so um favorite comment like subscribe all that good stuff and if you haven't subscribed you know what to do already it's right up here don't forget to subscribe bye guys